With 20 new stalls plus 20 new riders, the Liberty Equestrian team is ready to saddle up for a brand new season. Wait, did he say ladies? <laughs> I think I'll leave archery to the experts. Teamwork is very important to the sport of equestrian, and most of the time, your teammates aren't even human. Ain't that right, Anita? Whatever happens, tell my family I love them. Let's do this. You can open your eyes now. For Game On, I'm Victoria Wood. <laughs> Athletes are used to giving their fans something to cheer about, but it's their giving behind the scenes that really makes a difference. Liberty is used to a very dominating performance against UNC Asheville over the years, but on Tuesday night, it was a nail biter. They made some mistakes, it wasn't always pretty, but in the end, they found a way to pull it out. Asheville has come out really strong in this first half. Is it great offense on their part or poor defense on your part that has kept this game so close? I think it's a little combination of both. Do you hear that? I'm pretty sure roosters are crowing all over the place. It is extremely early to be starting a game here in hockey time. 10.30 p.m., that's pretty normal, but 10.30 a.m., not so much. Guys, I'm down here with Greg Haywood. Greg, you are still in new territory playing forward. You used to play defense. How has that transition been for you this season? It's been a bit of a tough transition. Um, just I hope you've been enjoying the hockey game so far. For the next several minutes, we want to give you a preview of our daily sports show, Game On. I am here, and I am literally surrounded by a sea of fans. Over 7,000 of these guys came out here last year and literally smashed the record. Reporting from the Vine Center, I'm Victoria Wood. Only in your wildest dreams does a place like this exist. So be prepared to watch your dreams come true in this episode of PHCC's Hidden Gems. If you're anything like me, you love working out. If you're not like me, you might be after this episode of Hidden Gems. The Liberty men's tennis team kicked off their season with a 7-0 victory and a 0-7 loss. But what may seem like an unlucky schedule for the Flames turns out to be intentional. So what we try to do is uh, arrange our schedule where we have these matches that are going to test us for sure. And, uh, and then we have these matches where we've got to go out and execute in order to get the win. And that's where you see the disparity uh, in levels. And we want to go out and play Liberty tennis no matter if it's a super high level or not a super high level. We want to go out and play our game. Freshman Diego Castano has proven that he knows how to execute. The reason he was named the Big South Freshman of the Week. Uh, I'm blessed with the great team. You know, they work, they work super hard and they push me to push myself. So I think I, that's a lot to why I got the, that title. The week, so. Senior Dylan Seeger believes that his last season will produce great things for Liberty Tennis, thanks to great team chemistry. I'm thinking we got a good shot right now. I'm, I'm really excited. Our, uh, our group of guys are very close, closer than in, um, in years past. And so we get along and that's, team chemistry is huge, even though it seems like an independent sport. It's, it's great. We want to, you know, build champions for Christ here at Liberty, and you know, Liberty Tennis is just going to be a conduit of that. So we're out here to play good tennis. We want to get wins, but we want to do it for the Lord. Above everything else, the team wants Liberty Tennis to reflect what really matters in their lives. For artists on stage, that's their worship. That's where they shine. And for me, this is this is my form of worship. I'm I'm blessed to be given the opportunity to come here and just try to make Jesus known by my play and hopefully by my attitude. With their priorities in line, Liberty Men's Tennis blew past Bluefield State 6-1 and triumphed over King College 7-0 in their matches this past weekend. For Game On, I'm Victoria Wood. <laughs> the season might be over for the Liberty University archery team, but it's their practices in the offseason that strengthens this team the most. If you think this is close, the guys on this team are a lot closer. I am Whistle Bridges. I am Big Rig. I am Daddy. I am Corkscrew. I'm Anger Management. I'm Pork Chop. And I'm the coach, and we are Liberty Archery. And only in a family could you get away with calling each other names like that. Our team 
I, I could consider them family because we're such close friends. And I've met some of my greatest friends because of how close we are and how family oriented we are. So it's, it's not really the team, but more of a just a fellowship, if you will. And this fellowship of the bow shares the same love for archery as they do for each other. Most of our guys on the team are big hunters, and that's where the whole passion in archery comes from. We love to hunt, we love to shoot our bows, even if we're just hanging out for a couple hours. Um, so that's really what our practices are about, is just spending time together, getting to know each other a little better. Uh, growing as a team and growing as, as individuals, and that's my job, is to uh, provide the leadership and from time to time um, a little spiritual guidance if needed. Growing together only inspires the team to add more members to the ever-growing family. We're dysfunctional. Our goal for this year has been to grow the team. Uh, this year when I took over there was four originally on the team and we're up to eight members currently. So it's kind of been our focus is just to grow the team, grow the sport on campus. We'd like to see more people come out, especially some ladies come and join the team. Wait, did he say ladies? After about three attempts, I managed to let one fly. I think I'll leave archery to the experts. And shooting for most of their lives would definitely put these guys in the expert category. Well, I've joined the archery team because I've been in archery since I was eight years old. And so I feel like I've been getting better every year and I want to see how well I can do at a collegiate level. It's what I do. I, I'm not a football player, I'm not a basketball player. And that's, that's my sport is, is archery because that's what I do, it's what I know. I think it's time to test exactly how good these shooters really are. Whatever happens, Tell my family I love them. Let's do this. I trust you. Many parts we have in your favor. You can open your eyes now. For Game On, I'm Victoria Wood.